Hey everybody out in YouTube land, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Clark here with you and if it's your first time here, you're watching I Get Food, the channel on YouTube where I like to take you along on my food adventures as we check out some of the awesome and diverse food spots that we have here. Now in today's video, I'm craving some tacos, but not any old tacos. I want me some birria tacos. Now I found a spot that specializes in exactly that and I hear they're pretty good at it. I mean, you must be if that's all you've got on the menu. So I'm super curious and super excited. Come along and join me. It's time to get food. All right, we're here and we've made it to Dirty Bidias and I can barely contain my excitement. This spot is located at Queen East in Coxwell and it's owned and run by a chef who has a background working in some of the best fine dining and dim sum restaurants in Toronto. But when it came time to open up his own shop, he wanted to take his well-honed skills and apply it to one of his favorite dishes, birria tacos. Now, if you've never had a birria taco before, then I think this is something that you need to get onto because the combination of that griddle fried taco with the consomme that you can dip it back into is an absolute recipe for deliciousness. All right, here we are at Dirty Bidias, and I'm super excited because ever since I discovered this type of taco, I've been absolutely obsessed with them. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like all kinds of tacos, but what I like about Bidia is how they dip it in that liquid and then griddle cook it, almost like they're frying it up in its own flavors and juices, and then you add in that cheese and all the different meats or proteins or whatever the filling is. Speaking of fillings, they do four different kinds here. Um, I only got three today because they were out of the lamb, unfortunately, but hey, if you are a big fan of lamb, they do do it here. It is one of the more popular ones, the one that everyone likes, so they do occasionally sell out of the lamb, but no worries today, we've got a great selection. We've got the classic beef, that's a beauty that everyone pretty much knows, but what's cool is they also do a jackfruit, so if you're not down with meat, no worries, they've got the jackfruit, and they also do a fish one as well. And in case you're wondering, their meat is halal, so you're covered there too. All right, you guys, have a look at this booty right here. As you can see, the shell is nice and crisped up. That cheese is practically one with the taco shell, melded right in there. That beef looks so juicy, and it's got like, your cilantro and all your other accoutrements. But what makes Birria special is that it comes with a consomme as well. Dip it in there and let's take a bite. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That meat is just so tender. Oh, they must have stewed this down for hours because it's just so tender, so flavorful. It's so juicy, you almost don't need the consomme, but come on, there's no way you're not gonna because you're just getting all that flavor. Mm. It's a little more complex than most tacos I've tasted. Definitely not too salty. Like, I was a little bit nervous the cheese would make it a little bit too salty. And, you know, like, if you're not feeling for cheese, they do do all versions of their four tacos without the cheese. You can just get the standard birria instead of the birria quesa. They do a bunch of different kinds of hot sauce as well. Oh. Oh, that one's got like a little bit of smokiness. Definitely brings quite a bit of heat and fire. Mmm. All right, I got myself a side of their chipotle corn salad. Mmm. Mm. The salad is nice and cool but there's a bit of spice and heat to the flavor. Mm. Check this out. 
Got the jackfruit. Now, I guess I didn't want to overeat. I only ordered a single of each of these tacos that I'm trying today. But they do sell them as boxes, and that's what they recommend. You'll get two or three of the same tacos in a box along with a side and a drink. Much better value. That's definitely what they recommend. I just wanted to show you guys as many of the tacos they have on the menu as I could. But definitely pick your favorite, go with the box, or bring a friend, and each one of you get something different, and then you guys can mix and match on your own. Now the other thing that's cool is that they pretty much have a different consomme for each type. Mm. So the great thing about that is each consomme is there to highlight the flavors of the dish. Mm. So the jackfruit? Definitely a bit sweeter when compared to the robustness of the beef media. I like that the cilantro keeps things nice and bright. There's a tinge of heat, but that's not the dominating flavor. Mm. I guess that's where the hot sauce is coming if you do want a little bit of heat. And again, like with each taco, like with the consomme, the sauces are well intentioned as well. Mmm. The green one really perks things up. Alright, now I've got the fish one. Let's get a little more lime on that. Oh. And you've got the consomme specifically for the fish taco. Mmm, mmm. Oh, you're definitely getting that great seafood flavor with this one. Mmm. I'm not sure what type of fish they use, but it's definitely a little flaky. Mmm. But that is great. And with that consomme, wow, the flavors are just bumped up perfectly. Wow. Let's try it with some of that yellow hot sauce. Mmm. Now, even though I've been letting this one sit for a little bit, because I started with the other two, and I've been filming, this still got the crispiness on the initial bite, but then that cheese, when it's melded in there, after having it cooked on the griddle, it's kind of crispy, kind of chewy at the same time. Just gives you that chance to get all those flavors out. Yes, then, then the beef one. The beef one's kind of more that like robust. I mean, I'm not sure what the seasonings were. I'm thinking maybe cinnamon and a few other things. No, it's uh, cloves and garlic. Cloves and garlic. Okay, that was my second. Okay, bit of construction going on outside in front of the shop, so we weren't able to do the outro over there, but hey, we'll film it in the car, no worries, doesn't take away from the overall experience at all. Speaking of the experience, let me take a second just to say a huge thank you to Chef Tim, to Dirty Bidias. I had a great time, what about you guys? Oh, wow. I'd love to know your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Big thank you to you as well for watching the video. Of course, if you guys enjoyed it, help me out and give it a thumbs up and share this video with family and friends so more people find out about great spots like Dirty Beauty Up. If it's your first time here and you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon. All right. I think that's everything for today, but no worries. There's more food adventures to come. We publish a new video every Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I hope you guys come back and check that out. However, for now, what I want you guys to do is get out there and get something tasty to eat. And I'll see you all next time when I get food.